Um, you know, those, those few plays I was in uh, the other day, it, it was uh, it was quite the experience, and um, I'm glad I had the opportunity, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So, what was it like? What injury did you have that you were fighting through? Um, I had a uh, problems with my groin, um, just the groin area down there, and then um, you know everything's healing up pretty well now, so um, I think we're good to go. Uh, where's this team at? I mean, obviously a tough loss, tough day on Saturday and Saturday night. Where is this team at, and has it kind of moved on? And, and obviously, it's got to move on. Sure, sure. Yeah, we're not going to let um, one loss, you know, define the rest of the season for us. Um, this week, we're just going to improve and move forward. Uh, there's a lot of things we need to improve on, and um, we're going to do that this week and uh, prepare for um, uh, Northern Iowa. So, how much have some of the other guys told you uh, about 2009 with Northern Iowa, or, or just in general how tough? FCS opponents on sure, that day. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, there there has been a lot of talk about the 2009 game. Um, you know, we've been watching film on them, and they're they're uh, they look good on tape, and I'm, I'm sure they are. They're uh, they're uh, any any college football team is is going to be a challenge. If 2009 doesn't get through to your attention. I'm sure Wisconsin a few weeks ago, but that's definitely sure. Get this team sure. Yeah. Um, you know, that was a close game with Wisconsin, and um, you know they're gonna they're they're gonna be hungry and looking to. Uh, to uh, come beat us, but we got to stick to our game plan and we'll do our thing. What do you have to do to earn more snaps? Um, you know, there's a lot of things I need to do to improve. Um, just got to gotta progress in, uh, you know, in strength, obviously, um, pass rush, uh, run blocking. Um, there, there's a lot of things in that area. What was the film session like for the defensive line? Um, the film session, I mean, it was, uh, it was all right. You know, we... We got in there on uh, Sunday, um, went through our mistakes, um, the good things we did, the bad things we did, and uh, you know we're going to clean them up this week. What are you learning from old yeah. senior Joe Gaglione? Um Joe's a great guy, great player. Um, you know he's he's helped me a lot. You know since I've been here last year, um, this year, um, helped me transition and uh, kind of move along um, in the defensive line area, defensive end uh, more specifically. Um, you know, he's, he's just a really good leader and uh, someone I look up to. Um, what is the example of him being a leader? What what, what does he show you there? Um, he's obviously a very accomplished in the weight room. Sure, sure. Um, just his work ethic, work ethic um, the way he plays on the field, um, you know, that, that kind of stuff, how, how he takes practice. Is he always, it. Is he always quiet? Um, yeah, he, he's a fairly quiet guy. He, I, I wouldn't consider him to be a... Um, a, a verbal, verbal type of guy, but mm -hmm. he, he leads by example. So, you know, this is the first time that I've ever asked you to catch a ball with AJ Klein, you know, in your back pocket. Uh, same with Schumberg. Same with a lot of guys. I mean, they're asking you guys to do this stuff for the first time. Is it hard to kind of break the ice? You know, uh, I don't know about that. It's, it's, it's a little new, I guess. But we're expected to make the plays. We do it in practice every day. We got our defense on us from trying to make those exact same defensive plays and. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're expected to make those plays. We expect to make those plays. We expect each other to make the plays. I was, I hate to dwell on it, but how did it feel? You know, watching the film and seeing the thing. It's one of those classic drivers just kind of just sported through you. Yeah, definitely. It's just, just tough to watch that, obviously, and uh, just got to move on from it, learn from it, get better from it. <laughs> Like I said a couple years ago, they beat us an inch of our life. So uh, it's going to be a huge challenge for us. Um, definitely not a podunk game and uh, something where we're going to have to definitely get better from our first two weeks in order to, to score some points on them. James, are your emotions any different uh, during the week or the day of, a, say, a rivalry game, in-state type of game than they are against other teams? Uh, I think during the week maybe there's a little more focus. You want to be a little more detailed. Um, but in general, no. I think it's more the fans, the people outside that probably get a little more hyped for those games. Um, obviously, they're, they're tough games. You know they're going to be highly competitive, and there's going to be a lot of emotions on the field. But uh, as far as a preparation standpoint, you kind of want to get into a routine and prepare the same way each and every week, whether you're playing Southeast Louisiana State or Michigan State, I mean, so on. You just kind of get in a routine and do your thing. You play running back and receiver here. Is one harder than the other? It seems like running backs play quicker at the college. Is there a lot more to pick up as a receiver? Um, it, it, it all depends. Like, I, I can't really say. It's more, it's more conditioned as a receiver, I can tell you that. Like last year, I went to receiver and, you know, I was dead at first. Like, I was just <laughs> dead. Like, I, was, I had my head in the gear. But, but um, yeah, I mean, 
Uh, I wouldn't say it's like e either one's pretty much harder. I can I can pretty much do both. So you know, whichever, whatever comes me needs me to do, I'll do it. So <laughs> Northern Iowa was able to do to Wisconsin uh, defensively and holding them to their lowest point total in a few no, years. And then I'm guessing you've heard about the 2009 game here. What are you expecting from you and I's defense and how tough they play? Um, yeah, um, Northern Iowa they they're doing a very good job. You know, I, I watched a uh, film on them last night and uh, the other day, and they're a very good defense. You know, they switch things up. They're fast. They play hard. So you know, we got a we got a good game coming up this weekend. It'll be another tough one. You talked about the physical nature, getting off jams, things of that nature. What about route adjustment, too? James mentioned last week he's got a three-second clock running through his head. Yeah. Three seconds goes by. Is there a clock running through your head as a wide receiver when you come off the line? Um, yeah, definitely. It's it just it's second nature. You know, you, you know you have you can't be um, taking too many steps or taking too long at the line, whether it, if it's press coverage. So, you know, you, you really got to keep going. We are, it's, it's college Division One football. You know, guys are moving around. So we, you got you to gotta really be on your toes with that. That's you know, so why we come in each week and uh, try to fix those things. I know um, we have a lot of blame on the wide receivers, tight ends, running backs. Uh, James is delivering good balls, but, you know, those are things we can fix. So mm -hmm. we're excited to get back at it. Do you have to be careful not to press too much on this whole situation, though? Or? What do you mean? You know, getting nervous about it, really really try to do too much, uh, just let the ball come to you? No, I mean, we do have a young group, but uh, I think everyone knows what the, their job is. And, uh, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's something easy to fix, it's catching the ball. So um, James is going to keep throwing great balls, so we're going to do our job. Are the routes being run correctly? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Is there What's enough going on speed? In the, in the red zone, you got. <laughs> next, you, know, you guys have moved the ball, mm -hmm. um, but then when you get in the red zone, it's. Uh, you might as well just throw Mike Meyer in there on first down. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, that's what it's been. Yeah, it it's, is. Um, yeah, it's definitely something we got to work on. Um, we don't know exactly what the answer is, or else mm -hmm. I'll tell you. But um, you know, we're, we're coming each week trying to fix things like that. So. Um, just a key block here, maybe, or. Um, yeah, so everyone doing their assignments, doing their job, and, uh, you know, working as a team. Do so. you think there's enough speed? I mean, we keep hearing that there's not enough speed amongst the offensive skill players. Uh, no, I don't think that's the problem. Um, and I don't know, like I said, I don't know exactly what the problem is or else I'd tell you, but um, we're just going to keep working to try to fix it. Do you feel like, you know, the last play kind of says everything that uh, – People know who you are now. Uh, you, get, you got bracketed pretty good. There's a safety over the top. There's a linebacker underneath. Uh, how are you going to fight that now that people that you're a page in the in the scouting report? Um, you know, that's not a problem. Um, you know, James is still going to read uh, the defense, see who's open. Um, other guys are going to op open each other up. Like if um, you know Keenan, Cavante, or Shump are running good routes, they're going to open up the running game. They're going to open the, the tight end. So um, I'm not too worried about that. So. You took a, I think you had one little drop Saturday, and you took it pretty hard. Oh, yeah, I mean, it was a critical point in the game. It was a good ball. Um, it's not something that, you know, it's, it's a play you want to make. You know, like, always growing up, making the big play, and, uh, you know, when that happens, it's really frustrating. So. Is it, you know, people see it and they get frustrated. Yeah. It's got to just rip you apart. Um, uh, and yeah, you obviously. You can tell by the look on your face. Pretty mad. Um, no one likes dropping the ball. Um, yeah, it's just something we got to fix. So. Does, is everybody starting to get what Greg Davis is trying to do with this with this passing game or the wide receivers? It sounds like depth was a concern Saturday. That there were some missed depths on some routes. Um, yeah, everyone knows what we're supposed to be doing. Um, I think the biggest thing is that we're just dropping balls and on big, uh, you know, big situations in the game and. Um, you know, that's, that was probably the biggest thing. I don't think it was routes or anybody doing anything different. So. Do you guys worry about James getting frustrated? Um, no, because he's a really smart quarterback and, um, you know, he's very experienced. So I think once we, you know, get in that end zone, it's going to give him a little more confidence, everyone else a little more confidence. So, um, yeah. Do you almost feel like you guys have to almost pick him up at this point a little bit? Um, of, because of all the, the you know the drops that the receivers had, um, everyone's got to pick each other up. You know, last week wasn't something that we had planned on doing. You know, we did we didn't know we were gonna come in and drop however many balls we dropped, and um, you know, we just got to help him out, and uh, he's gonna make his make his passes. So. First game you played in was against Northern Iowa. Mm -hmm. I think you got some special teams duty, and I don't think you've seen 
Were you on the field when that uh, that last uh, no, 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 kicks? No, no, no. Nope, I was, I was on the field. I was just playing special teams, yeah. It was just like kick return or kick off? I can't um, remember. Kick off and I think punt return, I think. Okay. Yep. So have you ever been around anything that crazy? Anything? Like I said, that was my very first Hawkeye game. Um, I didn't come here. I didn't come to a game in high school. Yeah. So when I got here, I was talking to my mom after the game, and I'm just like, wow, why did I come here? This is that was the craziest thing I've ever been a part of in my life. Two block food. Like, I don't, has it even ever been done before? I don't. I don't know. But it was a, it was a crazy game, and um, yeah, it was, it was a fun experience to be a part of. They give you second thoughts about coming here. Uh, you know, like I said, I kind of did talk to my mom. Like, wow, why? <laughs> Why did I come here? You know, we had to block two field goals. Cause I mean, I didn't really know. I just I was new on campus. I didn't know. You know, Northern Iowa. I had no idea. But uh, you know, come to find out, they're a really good team. You know, every year they they're competing and, and doing really good, winning season every year. So I mean, they're they're a good team. And now, you know, this year I obviously know that they're a good team and I'm ready to prepare. For yeah. Them. You, have you seen the Wisconsin? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. When definitely. did you hear that score? Maybe somebody asked you that already. I don't know. When you, obviously, you were playing a game at that time. Oh, um, you mean Wisconsin? Yeah. Oh, it was Wisconsin right after. Northern it was Iowa. right after our game. After the game. Yeah, right after our game, I found out about that. We was on our way back. And I, I mean, it didn't. It honestly, didn't surprise me. You and I is a good team. You know, I remember watching them even last year when they were in the playoffs mm -hmm. and they're um, playing really well. And you know, they're, they're a good team, and I wasn't surprised one bit. Is it hard with the younger guys to convince them that FCS doesn't equal gimme? Um, you know, like I said, even my freshman year when I came in, I you know I thought it was you know just one of them games that you should roll over a team and you know one of them forty two nothings. But yeah, I think you know getting the getting the young guys prepared and, and letting them know like any anything can happen in any game. Um, you know, like we had to block two field goals and just to beat them, just to get the W. But uh, you know they're they're here to compete. You know they they see a Big Ten team on their schedule, they're ready to play. They you know that that's what makes makes or breaks their season. So. Uh, we know that, and we will be prepared, ready to play. How much does that Wisconsin game kind of give them the reminder that, that the freshmen that you know they, they can play? Oh, you mean to our freshmen? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, I, th I think they'll definitely watch that tape and realize, you know, I think they've seen, you know, maybe even when they're in high school, you know, they've seen that Wisconsin is a very good team, and this team almost, you know, beat them. So I think they'll realize, you know, here soon, definitely this week of practice that this is a good team, and and they'll be ready to go against us. I'm here now. Was that a no-brainer for you, or, or did you have to think twice about it? At that point? Well, you know, it's you know, it's pretty easy decision. You know, my whole dream was always to you know play at the highest level possible, yeah. and uh, you know, that's just an opportunity. Um, you know, not many kids are going to pass up um, to, to be able to play at the Division One level, and uh, you know, it's you know, a pretty easy decision for me. Any special feelings then for you to go against you and I this Saturday? Oh, well, you know, not really. It's just yeah. it's just another game. You know, that's that's in the past. You know, it it all worked out the way it was supposed to, and uh, you can't. Um, really put too much thought into that, and that's yeah, so just focusing on uh, the next game at hand. Carlos Anderson, a little jitterbug running back. David uh, Johnson, a big type running back. Do they present different problems for you? Or? Oh, definitely. You know, um, you know, they each have their own um, different types of game, and uh, you know, both of them are great out of the backfield. Um, you know, catching balls as well. I think uh, um, Johnson had a couple touchdown catches against uh, Wisconsin. Um, so you know they both present their own challenges, and you know they got a good receiving core too, and uh, um, breaking in a new quarterback, I think. So uh, you know it'll be a, a great challenge for us. What was Thanks, that Tim, call that you. Coach Farley like after uh, you got the switch? You know, he, he understood. Um, you know it, it happened to him before, I think. Um, you know it's um, something I think he's been in that position before. Now you know he understood. Um, you know, I just wanted to be upfront with him and honest, and I think he respected that. And uh, you know, I um, couldn't thank the you know I program enough for you know giving me that opportunity. How hard was that? I mean, you were so excited probably to get the Iowa mm -hmm. offer and then to have to, to call, turn around and call him. No, it's tough. You know, you don't want to. Um, you know, that's a hard position to be in, but you know that's part of the recruiting game. Um, you know, coaches probably go through it all the time, and um, you know it's just the way it worked out. And, and uh, you know, I just um, took that step for me, and I'm um, here now. What was